Hi there, I'm Adam Kibas. You are listening to another episode of my podcast where I, where, where we talk about various things. We are still in the pandemic. It is a, it is a rainy day, a rainy Monday here in Ordu in Turks, in Turkey on the Black Sea coast. I hope that you all, uh, passed the weekend well i know it's not easy we still we are heading uh, um, uh, towards a winter we never know how uh, how this all will uh, be for all of us in this pandemic however we will continue our in- inquiry into the broad hot topic of desire the last time we talked about love we tried to separate desire from love we say that mm, desire in that sense is more subjective is more individual whereas love is something you can accomplish in unison with someone else who loves you back love needs a reply if you want that's why i i said that uh, it is not true that you you love an object because an object like a car or whatever cannot love you back as well as if you see other human beings as objects just as mere or objects to to satisfy your lust then of course you have some sort uh, uh, a misunderstanding or no only a one-sided desire you have some some, some sort of not pretty much um, this is what we will talk about later but this some sort of a false desire where you merely see see someone else like then you as an object object to satisfy your own needs and this is indeed important in our time i mean we live in a over sexualized society and so on and many men especially for physical appearances are being objectified you see this in in on the tv in reality shows beauty is indeed uh, in the forefront how you look uh, love iceland and so on nudity is more common uh, than ever before yet again this is not the first time where humans are exposed to nudity nudity this was happening before that as well However, but uh, what we want to talk about here uh, uh, and continue is, of course, what we started last year. This is the conditions of desire, so so that your social standing plays indeed a crucial lo- role in your in your in your self perception and so on. But I, before we continue, I. Uh, I want to some sort of uh, give a, a definition of love, what some sort of in order to sum up what we talked about up to this very day, somewhere so so that we some sort of have the same understandings uh, in order to continue in our boat cast. So in 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 separation to desire, love is an emotional investment that respects, likes, and and likes the existence of a person and is interested in the physical and emotional satisfaction of that person. This would be some sort of the feeling of love. Uh, love, uh, what we, what I f- think is very important to to some sort of have, have a definitions definitions i know i i will su- some sort of keep them at bay uh, but in philosophy definitions are indeed very important the more accurate and exact you have a definitions the the better it is it is easier however we will not go into detail i always try to come up with general definitions um, is, and be, because we are using Google uh, dictionaries, so 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 we will always come up, I come up with a general definition and so. On. So what we talked about little before was of course fear, fear as one of the conditions of love, fear, sexual fear, especially in the over sexualized age where I try to try, try to draw everyone's attention that that over sexualization is indeed 
manliness as well is is part of manliness as well despite the fact that women are are the objects of over sexualization so, so through social media we talked about sex and the city and i think sex and the city is a good recurring theme which we can use because it is still um, uh it is still uh up to date it is not outdated despite the fact that it was in the ninth days and of course in the ninth days things were a bit different the internet has had started or was just at the beginning so social media was not very very on top so progress if you want was very slowly and indeed so the smartphone changed a lot uh, and uh, and will will change a lot However, but uh, the, those uh, mm, topics in in the Sex and the City, those themes which made was made up, are still very important, and we will use them. And ag again, I I have to uh, announce here that I use a lot of, oh, 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 I get um, some sort of a very good YouTube channel in order to analyze Sex and the City, and and so on. Is is the take so so i i watch occasionally some videos they are very interesting they they really can help you to understand gender and and so on really very interesting stuff so so you should watch more youtube channels uh, they are for free and, and quite interesting and have indeed a high quality and so so and and in fear we talked about it as a as a man you have in in Increasingly, the fear that you are not be able to perform perform sexuality because everything has uh, been brought down to to, uh, to 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 the beer physics, uh, and we are some sort of, if you want, uh, and and this of course has any effect on you how how you treat uh, how you desire what you desire and i talked about uh, that man uh, that uh, or which woman you choose because this is another part of desire and this is that the desirability desire uh, has in its or needs in its the possibility of success so um, even though Let's say an object is out of reach. You still some sort of assume that you would get to still still assume that you would uh, some sort of be with her. For example, if you're a man and if you dream of a of a very attractive woman, um, even though she might be out of your league, but still you you need to have enough confidence to assume that you can be with her, that you can be around her, and so on, or that she would some sort of posi respond to your desire so this is indeed a, a very important thing especially with human human interactions i mean if you desire i don't know uh, let's say uh, an, an expensive object then you only mm, i mean of course this may sound some sort of uh, challenging but you only need to 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 have enough money to buy this object but whereas true love or true desire if not uh, if, if you want to understand it that way has always uh, in it self the possibility that the object in humans interactions will reply positively so that you as a man for example assume yeah, well, this is actually very common among adolescents that you assume that uh, in a way you are that other women they don't know how you really are and that once you you can reveal you reveal yourself to them then they will understand and that they will fall in love with you this is pretty much the reoccurring theme theme in all those uh, superheroes uh, uh, like like spider-man uh, spider-man peter Parker, who was some sort of the under dog, the, then he has some sort of a secret life, and then or oh, once the, his girlfriend discovers that he is in actually a hero, then she falls in love with him, and so on. This is as well as you have in Batman and, and in many, many 
comic superhero so th this is indeed an issue of the adolescence uh, and and this is in the, indeed the thinking of many adolescent men so that you, this uh, this possibility perceived possibility that you some sort of succeed or that you that your desire get acknowledged even though it is some sort of subjective because you desire uh, like i said desire is an individual desire and you desire some sort of some person for your own or own esteem for your own or uh, for your own psyche if you want like this example of this attractive woman I'm, i mean if you want to have an attractive woman or be be around an attractive woman t to show the world that you are a potent man this is rather individual however i mean but uh, despite the the fact that desire is individual or physically it is indeed still a necessity for love because of course human beings are physical uh, ethnic Taste. So you, you at in 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 first sight you always see the physical appearance of someone. Yeah, I know. Of course, there are some uh, love triangles where people met via I don't know via internet and so on. But mm, they they never really work out, out. And those who work out, they are rather they are rather. Mm, they are rather uh, rare, and this fear, fear of oversexualization, this is of course among men, among women as well. One common example is Sex and the City, the character of Miranda. It is, uh, I mean, this is what we will some sort of repeat over and over again. I mean, because it is still true, and this is something you will even see. Like I said many times here, yeah, this development within the feminism where you adopt male behavior, which is in fact if we uh, if you go along with with constructivism, if you are uh, if you assume um, th that your social gender, so not your biological sex, but yet that your that your social gender how you behave as a as a man and as a woman that this is constructed by the society then of course the male gender is constructed as well i mean i gave a lot of example for example in ancient greece the greeks mocked the, the persians because the persians were trousers and now uh, now this this is rather reversed in some cultures only men were trousers whereas women they have to they wear skirts and so on so so so, so the skirt is still some sort of a female attribute and so on however and then in our time it, it has become difficult for women to succeed and the only way they can succeed is through adopting to the male male uh to the male uh Uh, world to the male behavior and this is then the character of the Miranda way where you don't have fear sexualization where you fear as well other women this is very important as as well so there is tension within women tension or envy to women like Afro Daiti, what we said, the gender of Aphrodite, this woman, which you find on social media, over-sexualized and, and being loved, liked by many men. I mean, you only need to read some comments of, of on Instagram or whatever, what people write to those women who post, I don't know, a bikini, pics half-naked, pics, then you see, I mean, what this all means. And of course, Of course, you, everyone will say, yeah, I don't care, I don't need, I don't need approval or whatever. Well, <laughs> approval, I mean, this is something I was only say in a general and it is of course worth that we would analyze this as well. But ap approval in is something you need as a human being. It doesn't matter which approval, but in a way you you need to, to have some approval, you need to have some posi response from your environment even though you say yeah, yeah well I, I don't want this 
kind of appro- approval. Um, however, in your life, in your in your working world, I mean, if you work somewhere and n- no one ever proves anything of you as well as not disapproves any.